His name is Lee Dexter Joyner, a 31 year old man with ties all over North Texas. But it's here on Fort Worth East Side. He's charged with capital murder and two sexual assaults. Everybody involved in this case uh, with this man, uh, they are females. Fourth, police say on August 29th, a woman was sexually assaulted at 5 a.m. on the 1900 block of South Eaterville, right near a church and a school. Five days later, on nearby Lancaster, another woman was sexually assaulted, this time at 4 a.m. Kind of had a little bit of the same motive. We started following some of these clues. Police say as their sex crimes unit started to connect those cases and ID a suspect, a woman was found dead here just down the street, also on Eaterville. It was 1 30 in the morning on September 7th. The police report said she had also been beaten. Three days later on September 10th, police arrested Joyner for the two sexual assaults and soon after they charged him with capital murder in the third case. We didn't know that he was in, uh, involved in this homicide until after we had placed him under arrest for the other two sexual assaults. Police believe the murder victim was also likely sexually assaulted, but we wanted to know why police didn't alert the community about the sexual assaults they were investigating, wondering if that could have kept the murder victim safe. And at that point in time, we did not have solid enough information uh, to be able to give out or to even say, yes, there is this type of uh, serial rapist or whatever you guys may call it in this neighborhood. Police couldn't yet say how the victims knew the suspect who spent time in prison for arson. Police are looking at Joyner in other sexual assaults, including one on August 22nd in the same area. In Fort Worth, I'm Lauren Zacala.